What I find uh, unacceptable, though, is some of those who've got legitimate objections joining hands uh, with some of those outside who are part of a far-right group who are... Mayor Khan, we are not far-right. We are concerned citizens against totalitarian ideologies, big government, big taxes and globalism. We believe in democracy through the ballot box, where the people have the power to change a government that fails to serve them. We believe in a strict but fair for all politically neutral legal system and police force not one that panders to a political ideology, that bends the knee to a Marxist narrative, that paints police vehicles in activist colours, or ignores mass rape to appease a religious doctrine. That's hardly far right. Remember that you and every politician is voted in to serve their people, but you and many others forget that and turn into self-serving, power-hungry despots that throw out insults to the people you swore to serve. We at Patriots of Britain will never align or assist a far-right group. We don't understand how anyone that calls themselves a patriot can idolise the Austrian dwarf Hitler, whose Luftwaffe deliberately bombed civilian areas of British cities murdering thousands of innocent British people. To us, the Nazis and the Communists are two sides of the same coin. Totalitarianism, held in place by fear and a murder machine. And we reject both. We believe in controlled immigration of skilled people because successive Conservative, Labour and Liberal governments have failed to educate our children to a high enough standard to produce doctors, surgeons, scientists, engineers and other highly skilled trades that this country desperately needs. We are opposed to illegal immigration, such as the current invasion by boat people, who, by throwing their passports and other identity documents into the English Channel to hide their identity. A genuine refugee registers in the first country they come to. This current invasion is of 90% men of fighting age. Now men don't flee war zones. They stay behind and fight for their country. Only women and children flee war zones. So ask yourself, why is this invasion 90% men of fighting age? One scenario is that many are coming here to disappear into criminal cartels. The second scenario is that they are coming here as trained soldiers in order to wait for the signal to start an armed uprising to turn this country into an Islamic Republic, a tactic that has been employed in many countries since 1949. Unlike the far left and far right, we don't believe in using violence, as this only makes a government implement even harsher laws that limit our freedoms and give the police more power to employ violence against peaceful protests. Unlike the far left and the far right, who believe in big government that has total control over our lives, we believe in small government where more power is devolved to a local level. We believe in low taxation to stimulate growth and encourage small businesses. This means people will have more disposable income, meaning more business, intensifying higher wages. We believe that the NHS should be stripped of all political ideology, that middle management should be culled, and matrons should be brought back to controlling positions because experienced professionals know what is needed unlike civil servants with no medical training education should be stripped of all political bias and return to learning actual knowledge 
stop the dumbing down. So, Mayor Khan, the next time you have a childish meltdown and label people you were elected to serve just because they don't agree with your robber baron policies, try acting like an intelligent politician.